Do you feel that? It's go free. It's finally out. I am free of go to at last. Yes. But that doesn't mean that I'm free of making videos, sadly. So, as you might have remembered, I already did kind of an overview of factions already, but there was a really strange problem in there, as if I didn't record UKF material and kind of, you know, kind of lost the passion to make videos, and then I got sick, and then I died of cringe, but hi, I resurrected, and I'm back to finally make the UKF video that's going to make UKF mains proud all over the world. Also, one of my favorite features of Co3 multiplayer is that you can essentially go into player's list and pick what doctrine or battle group or whatever it's called uh, your opponent went with. It's really a welcome feature and I hope that it's not going to be taken out. And what do I want to do exactly here today is pretty simple. I just want to rush Gurkhas as fast as possible because, in my opinion, Gurkhas are probably the most effective anti infantry unit that UKF has. Because, you know, outside of them, there are commandos and also commandos. In other words, I don't really have much of a choice in here, so. So I open up with three combat engineers and one dingo. Dingo is for hunting down light vehicles, such as the Ketengrad that is going to be probably on the other side. And trial engineers are just, you know, your standard classic uh, have more field presence type of units. And outside of that, they're pretty nifty in close quarters, so, you know. They are going to synergize pretty well with Gurkhas that I'm going to equip with LMGs. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit awkward. So far, this guy made only MGs and Pioneers, which means that he's probably doing the good old tier 1 skip, which... Is that even possible? I don't think it's possible anymore. What I'm trying to say is that he just dislikes Grenadiers, and instead he's going to make MGs, and then some other ass uh, random infantry squads, maybe false makers, or maybe false from pioneers, who knows. <coughs> well, at least that dingo did not die in vain because this garrison is dead. Here they come! Oh boy. Pretty funny that we have literally the same time and if it goes to lead infantry though. Austere players, try not to throw a bundle grenade with panzer grenadiers every single time they close the gap challenge. Impossible. Another one. Oh look, this garrison is still alive. How fun. Oh, that's uh, Panzer IV. Uh, that's a problem. Thankfully, I have a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. <laughs> Speaking of the Crusader, I know I didn't really do that in this game, but uh, in my opinion, it's pretty essential to upgrade the Crusader with the funny... Um, six pounder gun because you get a massive amount of damage increase from 100 to 120 and you also get AOE bonus making it more effective against infantry. So yeah, it's pretty useful to say the least. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Another one. Hmm. It seems like either those MG42s don't shoot the other squad or AOE suppression is gone. Which is a pretty interesting choice to say the least. Boy do I love Luftwaffe, it's such a fun doctrine to play against, well... Thank god though, I have my secret weapon! Trakkun! Oh my garbage, what the hell is this? Ugh, disgusting! Boom, gone. Uh, those Panzer fours are a little bit of a trouble over there. Uh, I'm going to send my double AT guns over there. Goodbye forever. Attack ground never misses. I know that Relic reverted the Falsher Weavers to their primal state, but... Isn't it a little bit unwise to charge three Falsher Weaver squads into tanks? Um... Another one. Ah, look at me! Who is the god now? I have three Crusaders! Surely enough will go wrong, right? Right? I think everything just went wrong. <laughs> Thank god I also have my own fuck you button and that one, oh that one is even more powerful. I think, I, I think, oh, pl please, please be, please be more powerful. Yeah, I also got myself some foot guards. Um, foot guards are kind of like upgraded uh, GLIs of Panzer Shreks, but uh, 
more shit. <laughs> also, they have a pretty nifty accent if I do say so myself. Uh, it's Scottish, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to be honest, uh, I only bought this unit because it doesn't die as fast as AD guns and um, accent. That, that's it. That, that, that's all. That, that, that's the entire point. Although, I'm going to be honest, like, most of the voice work for UKF is pretty nice, except for the announcer. But then again, it's not the USF announcer, so yeah, it's still good. Because the announcer for USF is literally the Sonic voice actor. Like, I, I don't get it. Why? What? What? There he goes, charging in again. Both of his times got away, goddammit. Why? It's fine, it's fine, I shouldn't be mad, it's only a video game. Until he doesn't pull out, like, a very bullshit skill playing ability, I'll be fine! Another one. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a pickle over here. Panzer IV from one side, Force from Jaegers from the other side. Ah, uh, this... Uh, this Crusader is done for. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at those effects! Wow! Relic, you really, really worked hard on this one, eh? <laughs> wow. I have a theory that my man simply die of cringe instead of dying of strafing runs. Who would win? A half ass tank? Or a tank with half ass side skirts? Please write down your suggestions down below, because I'm really curious about your opinion. The answer is, um, he got himself another Panzer IV, um, goddammit, and he also got himself an infantry support, which is even more troubling. Uh, goodbye AT Guns, goodbye Grant, it was nice to meet you. Oh, how about some roasted tal bots, eh? So he called in planes to scare off one tank. And that's it. That I had nothing over there. Nice use of airstrafes, brother. Oh, for fuck's sake, I barely recruit that mortar! Rest in peace, Trakun. Your service is going to be remembered. You know, now that I look at his footage, yes, I'm doing all the commentary in post, by the way. Um, I would just kill to get my crush back. Oh my god, please, Relic. Just do one thing right. One thing. Please! Okay, so I have my composition of two Gurkhas, one Sapper, one Foot Guard, and two Grants. I don't think that Panzer IV or Forstream Makers are going to be a, much of a problem anymore. Well, thankfully, I still have my Foot Guards on the Panzer IV's retreat path, so yeah, that Panzer IV ain't getting away. There it goes. Beautiful. Nice. Grenade! No, I like that the food guards have such a shitty DPS that they literally had to cut down those false makers on retreat. I get that those were vet too, but holy shit, SMGs really need a buff. Alright, let's be honest, this guy doesn't have anything to de defend himself with anymore, so I'm just going to rush his base with free grants and see what is going to happen. Alright, uh, he actually deployed a Panzer form in the meantime. Uh, yeah, it's not going to help you, brother. He made another MG for some reason, okay. I feel like I'm playing against AI at the moment. I sadly can't uh, get the airburst on his base, which is very unfortunate. And his Panzer IV is dead, and yeah, the Grant sadly passed away, but it doesn't really matter because the game is practically over. GG, my friend. GG. And guess what? The victory screen jump scare is still here. Um, uh, anyway, I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. I also do apologize for taking a long break. However, I suffered from a throat disease for like two weeks, and because of it, I couldn't literally talk. I, I've uh, I've made like an, an Ardense Assault video in the meantime, and I tried to voice it while my throat was ill and. Honestly, it did sound sounded like shit, so I decided to scrap it. But hey, I, I still have the footage, so yeah, if you if you like to see that, see me rather beat the Ardennes Assault of Von Rieder Echelons, then sure, write down in the comments. Maybe I'll rewrite the script and uh, revoice it again and see what I what I can do with it. But regardless, uh, thank you thank you all once again for watching. And hey, while you're there, maybe subscribe or. You know, maybe even join my Discord, who knows? Hey, yeah, till next time.